Imagine a world where the sound of music made you see colors. Where the note of B is sparkling silver. And D flat. Wondrous pure periwinkle. Where the taste of food has a distinctive shape. Oh, too round. Don't get roasted. Enough. The sound of words can literally leave a bad taste. <laughs> and thinking of days of the week or months of the year generates an Alice in Wonderland three-dimensional calendar in space. It's like walking along on a little track. It may sound a bit strange, but this is the world according to people with synesthesia where one sense, sight, taste, hearing, touch, or smell, gets jumbled with another, creating what Dr. Richard Saitoic describes as a blending of the senses. My voice, for example, is not only something that you hear, but also something that you might see or taste or feel as a physical touch. E-flat is turquoise, very warm turquoise. Laura Rosser sees every note she plays as a distinct color. Green, F sharp is yellow green. And so while you're playing, these colors, how are they appearing? One at a time as the note is played, or is it like? They sort of merge into each other. Synesthesia isn't just people getting a bit poetic about their world, their brains are wired differently. Well, they have what I call a different texture of reality. Hoping to get a better grasp of that reality, I agree to take a couple of simple tests. Can you see the pattern? For me, I see the fives. The twos look almost like the fives. It took me about 15 seconds to find the shape hidden on this page of numbers. But this group of synesthetes who we put to the same test were much quicker. Can any or all of you tell me where the twos are and what the pattern is? It took them less than half the time. Diamond. Diamond. And for you, Laura, why was it so immediate? The twos are orange and the fives are red. My fives are red and the twos are yellow. They find it so quickly because Laura Rosser and sisters Evan Lynn and Krista Kostenko see more than just black letters. Since they were children, they've had crosstalk going on in their brains, where every letter is associated with a distinct color, and that color never changes. Once synesthetic associations are established in childhood, the links stay fixed for life. So they can't really control it, it's just there? It's something that happens to you. You don't do anything to make it happen. I see it as a gift, uh, as a sort of spiritual God thing that enables more intuition. It really is an added dimension to what I do.